Ladies and gentlemen, the next contest is an amateur featherweight bout contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has his record of seven wins, 10 defeats. He represents Team Rhino. Ladies and gentlemen, Lewis Burn. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has a record of seven wins, four defeats. He represents the North East West Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Chester. Our referee is Mr. Paul Crossley. As always here at UKFC in Preston, a big reception for Jordan Chester in the red corner. Find out the Northwest Fight Academy in the black shorts. Got a tough test tonight. Team Rhinos, Lewis Byrne. Over from Ireland in the blue corner, green shorts. Two experienced amateur fighters, seven and four against seven and ten. Yeah, and again, two great camps as well. Team Rhino out of Northern Ireland, and of course, the hometown favorite, Jordan Chester. Not the Northeast fight, okay? It's the Northwest. Northwest. I, I gotta remember where I am. Yeah, strong start for Chester. Caught the kick, put Byrne on his back. Looks confident, but Byrne, like I said, the Team Rhino guy is always well versed. And again, that record in the amateur, seven and ten, those ten will have been monsters. Absolutely, and another guy looking for leg locks. I know Rhino obviously, uh, oh, and he's looking for a buggy choke. Looking for the buggy choke, don't see too many of them in uh, UKFC. And Dr Chester's feeling that, you can tell. And this will be us on a highlight reel somewhere, Steve, if he pulls this body. off. He looks tight, you've got to keep a close eye on Chester's arms. He needs to frame off the face if he can to try and take that pressure off. Elbow on the throat and drive down. And is there a risk that, is there a risk that burn, sort of burns his up? Because everything's all tied up, he had to let go, right? Yeah, he's giving it up. It wasn't far off that good durability from Chester to stay in that. Looks like he might be trying to set it up again. Chester yeah. rise through though, trying to get chest to chest. I'd love to know how close that felt, because it did look pretty tight. Stepping over now. Looking to try and wrap around to the back, but just controlling the head at the moment. Baron manages to pop right back up, but now with Jordan Chester pressuring him against the cage. Chester on the single now, but Burn almost hopping out to the back. Oh, Whoa. lovely works his way out of the single. And a nice darting straight right as well for Burn. One thing has got to be said about the, the match making so far. It's just been phenomenal. Yeah, top guys against top guys. Even even the debut guys, you know, have been well matched as well. Burn this time returns the favor off Chester's kick. Drives his man, puts him on his back. And it, we've already seen he's got a creative grappling game, hit, trying to hit the boogie choke, going for the legs. So let's see yeah, what he's got from the top position. Shoulder strikes there, just doing anything to make Chester's life un miserable at the moment. Hammer fists getting through. Uh, Chester got to be careful of the head and arm choke there. Look at that right arm. Burn potentially going to try and get his head in the armpit. Chester gets the arm back around though. Couple of big hammer fists. Yeah, and strong ground and pound to finish the round. Chester still trying to work to create space. And a good three minutes in the box. We know both these guys will be good, both be well rounded, and that's what we've seen in round one. Oh, absolutely. If, if, if I was a betting man, and, and I'm not, I would definitely, I'd be de definitely putting on this going over two rounds. I, 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 I see this going to the third, and I, I truly see this be a decision. It's going to be a, a tight fight. Yeah, I think what you do see, and like, you know, what have we got? Quick maths. I ain't got enough fingers. I've got my shoes on. 24-ish amateur fights between them. Yep. And that's, you know, you, you do see the difference in these guys when they're not experienced. You don't get to that many fights and not be well-versed in every area, and that's, uh, both these guys have shown it. Well-versed on the bottom, on the top. 
good striking, you know, and you yeah, love to see it as these amateurs develop over the years. You know, they, they've got skill sets that put a lot of the pros to the shame, you know, back when I was fighting pros and stuff like that. Well, seconds are cleared. Again, Jordan Chester fighting out the red corner, the black 411 shorts. Lewis Barron, the Team Rhino prospect, in the green. Landing a couple of nice right hands there. Tries to dig a kick to the body. But and I'm not used to seeing Jordan sort of manhandled a bit like that. He was dragged down there by Barron, made yeah. it look easy. It was good timing. He popped a couple of those right hands off, and then when he did it again, Jordan uh, was really worried about the right hand, and that allowed him, allowed Burns to come in, take the takedown quite easily because uh, he had Chester worried about the punches, which is, you know, MMA 101, I guess. But done well, it looks easy. Done badly, doesn't look that easy. Jordan had the had the butterflies, trying to get a little bit of distance, but Lewis Burn. Sticking to him like a rash at the moment. At the moment, on the back now. J uh, just yeah, strong position here for Burn. He's got the one hook in. Doesn't need the second one when he's chipping away. Either Chester will turn and give him the second hook, which you know, that's why I don't like to take it because it leaves you a little bit high. Chester turns to his right. You take the second hook. If you don't, you can pop it back out and work from turtle. A lot of the time, it, you know, Chester's way out might be to try put out there, and that happens a lot of the time if the guy tries to insert that second hook a little bit early. This is better. Heavy hips, pressure in the lower back, and chipping away with his punches. That's solid, and uh, yeah, Chester can't find a way out yeah, at the moment. Right now, it's, it kind of looked like he's stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea, no matter which way he goes. But Burns, staying busy, not just kind of riding position, chipping away. Yeah, well, this is a great position for him to chip away because there's nothing that can come back from there. You know, a really solid position. It's all offense from there. Chester has to neutralize it first before he can put any offense away. Hence why Burn can sort of hit him with impunity at the moment. Chester, though, like, again, refusing to accept the bad position, well aware that he might have to eat a couple to get back up. Yeah, keep an elbow to the knee so the hook stays out. And he's halfway up now, and he might be all the way out. Wants to try and get a two on one there and turn into Byrne, not keep his back presented to him. Nice knees to the back of the thigh. Byrne staying sticky and heavy and unpleasant. Yeah, really good grinding game. Even when he's uh, not in the exact position he wants, he's busy, like those knees to the legs. You know, trying to make something happen. Chester gets his back on the fence. Needs to make something big happen if he yeah. wants anything from this round. Only 10 seconds left in this round, so even in this sort of firefight, Lewis Byrne could be two rounds in the book now. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, Chester in the last 30 seconds of the round worked his way back up, got his back off the fence, managed to get back out in the open, but. Not going to be enough for the uh, the dominance that Byrne had for the rest of that round. So there's going to be some work to do here, I think, for, uh, for Chester to come back through with this. Well, if anybody has got the determination, the grit, and the drive to do so, Jordan Chester, but Lewis Byrne is not, not here to make it easy for him. Byrne Jean up the crowd. He's, you know, he's brought a few over from Ireland himself, to be fair. But well, I think he'll, uh, he'll struggle Gene up a pro Jordan Chester crowd yeah. in Preston. Oh no, he was jaw jacking with Jordan's fans. <laughs> Here we go, we touch gloves. Goes high. Does burn in on the clinch straight away. Chester trying to chip his way up. But that lovely little shoulder tap again. Yeah, on the ground old, and standing, it's... The McGregor Cerrone. Chipping away. Yeah, and it was just, the, you know, the impact of this strike straight off the bat that forced Chester on the back foot, firm pressured him. And, you know, it, if he tried to get into these positions without coming behind the strikes, Jordan would probably have a much better chance of, um, 
of not ending up with his back stuffed on the fence, but pressure, hard strikes that get his opponent's attention, and then sticking him on there. And he, you know, burn to his credit, does look really strong once he's there as well. All right, now Jordan manages to turn his man, chases a single, but great takedown defense from Byrne. Hops out of range, but Jordan under both hips. Oh, he did everything he could to get that takedown. And Byrne, Byrne just says and no. And that's going to be a little bit demoralized, I think, for Chester, because he worked so hard for that. Now Byrne. Picking his shots. You've got, Jordan's got to be careful of a triangle at this point, I think. <laughs> George Chester's, I mean, I don't, think, game away, but yeah. I don't think there's ever been a fight that he didn't enjoy, to be fair. I mean, he's he's enjoying himself, despite the position. If you had asked him he enjoying yourself, he'd go, eh, yeah. could be worse. Oh, he's gone for the arm, oh. the triangle and the arm at the same time. And hammering away at the body, oh, Jordan body turning shot. in. Jordan's gonna, done a good job of working his way out of that, because that was a difficult position. But Lewis Byrne being relentless, constant pressure. Corner asked, but Jordan's corner asking him to leave it all in there, but yeah, I've got I'm no pretty doubt, sure he yeah, has. No doubt he's trying his hardest there, but Byrne is you know, smothering him. He looks really strong in this position. Chipping away now. Taking a look over at the timekeeper. There can't be a whole lot of time left. And now, chipping away is Lewis Byrne. Yeah, over to the mount. Is he gonna go for a final volley of ground and pound from the mount? Is he gonna look for a submission? Options open to him here. Oh, landing some big shots. Inside wrist control. Rolls him, good, chasing the rear naked. Oh, right arm looks in position, but Chester working his arms on the inside. That's a good job, 10 seconds left. He won't get the finish against Chester at this point, but Byrne, great performance. Yeah, absolutely. And against Dan, always dangerous, and an always game, Jordan Chester. Lewis Byrne, we presume, has done enough. Yeah, great fight, great three rounds against two, uh, two experienced amateurs there. We'll go with Steve inside the cage to get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before the decision, please give both these warriors a huge round of applause. The fight having gone all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, and we have a unanimous decision for the blue corner, Lewis Byrne! And ladies and gentlemen, a huge round for an always game, Jordan Chester.